Here I am going to explain you about the surcharge shipping or you can say in incremental shipping. This section will help you to set up shipping rates by product as well. Let's understand by example, here I set 5 of unit of KZ and 15 rupees by every weight. Here my cart has 2 products with 7 kilograms. You can enter dot JSON in your cart URL and you will see total weight that will always in the gram and it will be automatically converted by your settings. Here I choose surcharge added by more than units. So more than 5 kilograms it will be added the price 15 rupees to the shipping rate. So I see the shipping rate of 30 rupees. Let's check by each unit. See. The settings will be work as 15 divided by 5. The output will be multiplied by cart total weight. Here is the formula. So base price will be calculated from the top and it will be always added in the formula of surcharge shipping. Same like percentage will be added every x percentage of the cart total. Same like quantity and distance. Distance needs to be select a higher plan and it will be counted as a Google map address. Distance rate required a Google API key. You can find it on delivery date and settings here. You must input a key that have a settings of API key from the Google. Please make sure your key should be billing enabled. The minimum and maximum price will be applied on the surcharge calculation. Let's understand by the product surcharge. If you want to set shipping rates for specific product, then you can search the product here, select a product and whatever the base price will be set, it will counted as a product based shipping. With additional add-ons in the application plan page, you can add different shipping cost for different products. Let's save and understand by example. Here I have both item in the cart. My shipping rate will be add of the both item in the cart. The most powerful option here works as a product tag. You can set a product tag example frozen and this will count shipping rate only when frozen item in the cart. With this frozen tag, you can add incremental weight shipping as well, incremental by quantity as well. If you set a quantity of multiplication, each frozen item in the cart, the shipping rate will be additive rate in the total shipping. Let's understand by example. I set 22 rupees of the shipping price. At checkout, it will display shipping rate of the frozen item only. I haven't set for the demo of mainland, that's why it's not calculating here. You can set up shipping rates by variant as well. With the save option, you will see another page with the per shipping rates by variant. Here you can search by product title, by collection and if you want to select all then search here. All the products of variant will be displayed here. Please make sure to check market and set up a price. This helps you when you have one product with variation of the size and big difference in a variant. Example small has a lower price of shipping, big product variant has a higher shipping rate price. The other option product type and vendor will help you same like the product tag. In the application, whenever you choose any option of this th six option, this rate will be counted as a product based shipping. Let me explain you about the two product based shipping. Here I set a frozen product tag shipping of rupees 22. Here I am creating a weight based shipping.
So now I have two shipping. One is weight and one is surcharge by product. Here calculation of 30 rupees of both item weight in the cart and 22 rupees of the frozen tag. In the setting, we have option to exclude product weight shipping in the weight based shipping. Here my shipping cost of 37 rupees that is 22 rupees of frozen product and 15 rupees for the mainland product. The mainland product shipping cost is calculated by its weight. This option helps you to set up shipping rate separate for product based and normal weight based shipping. This will exclude all surcharge shipping like quantity based or percentage based as well. The last option surcharge count from requires a minimum value of the item in the cart. Here I have set weight based shipping and if I set 10 then cart must have 10 kg of weight and the shipping surcharge count will be started from the 10 kg. Same if you set up by item quantity, one quantity by one rupees. If you set up by five here, then counter will be start from the five. If you have 10 items, then counter will be start from the five and five to 10 shipping rate will be applied at checkout. That's it. Thank you.